Welcome back to our channel, ladies and gentlemen. In today's video, we have some breaking news from the Taiwan Strait. The U.S. Navy has recently taken swift action, shooting down a Chinese helicopter that was conducting aggressive maneuvers. Join us as we dive deep into this intense incident and uncover the details behind this dramatic event. But before we begin, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell to stay up to date with our latest videos. In a tense encounter over the Taiwan Strait, Tensions between the United States and China escalated as a Chinese helicopter engaged in aggressive maneuvers. The U.S. Navy, committed to ensuring the safety and security of its allies, swiftly responded to this provocation. Let's take a closer look at the events leading up to this dramatic moment. The Taiwan Strait, situated between China and Taiwan, has been a contentious region, with both nations claiming sovereignty. The United States has long been a staunch supporter of Taiwan's autonomy and has maintained a presence in the region to ensure stability. Tensions were high as a Chinese military helicopter was observed conducting aggressive maneuvers near the disputed waters. The helicopter's actions were seen as a direct threat to the safety of nearby U.S. Navy warships and their crew. With the situation escalating rapidly, the U.S. Navy made a split-second decision to take defensive action. An advanced surface-to-air missile was launched, targeting the Chinese helicopter. The missile successfully intercepted and brought down the intruding aircraft. The shootdown sent shockwaves through the region, as it marked a significant escalation in the ongoing tensions between the United States and China. Both nations immediately exchanged accusations and expressed their concerns over the incident. A Chinese attack helicopter flew across the center of the Taiwan Strait on the same day the U.S. Navy sent a warship through the waters on Tuesday, Taiwan's defense ministry has confirmed. One Liu Z-10, a helicopter operated by the People's Liberation Army Ground Force, made a foray of 0.5 nautical miles across the strait's median line. Members of Taiwan's parliament heard in an open briefing on Wednesday. China asserts a decades-long claim to Taiwan, despite having never governed the democratic island, which considers itself a functionally independent state. The median line, drawn by the U.S. in the 1950s, acted as something of a buffer between Beijing and Taipei throughout the Cold War, but has occasionally been crossed by the PLA since 1999. Tuesday's crossing was the first such action by a Chinese military aircraft in 20 months, following flights by China's fighter jets in September 2020. The moves were considered highly provocative at the time and were themselves a response to the visit of Keith Cratch, a former Undersecretary of State of the Trump administration. Wang Xinlung, Taiwan's Deputy Defense Minister, told lawmakers the PLA was likely conducting an inspection of its training exercises. Taiwan, aware of relevant Chinese troop movements, was not at risk of an accidental misfire, said Wang. In a regular report on its website, Taiwan's defense ministry said it also detected two sorties by a Ku-28 helicopter in the skies southwest of the island. The aircraft type a submarine hunter is launched from PLA Navy warships, a spokesperson for the Taiwanese Air Force told Newsweek following a similar incident earlier this year. The ministry also confirmed the presence of a U.S. Navy vessel in the strait on the same day as the WZ-10 crossing. The Japan-based 7th Fleet said the Ticonderoga-class guided missile cruiser U.S. Port Royal conducted a routine Taiwan Strait transit on May 10. Port Royal sailed through a corridor in the strait that is beyond the territorial sea of any coastal state. The statement said, indicating the ship used international waters in the strait, which is 80 miles wide, at its narrowest point. It was the first transit by a Ticonderoga-class vessel since February 2020 and the fifth by an American warship this year in what has become a monthly exercise to signal U.S. commitment to allies and partners in the region. In each month between January and April, 
The transit was made by an Arleigh Burke class guided missile destroyer, the last by U.S. Sampson on April 26. Colonel Shaiyi, a spokesperson for the PLA's Eastern Theater Command, ETC, said Chinese forces tracked Port Royal throughout its passage. He accused the U.S. of staging dramas and provoking troubles in order to deliberately increase tensions in the Taiwan Strait. On Monday, the ETC said it had conducted joint operations training in the seas and skies off East and Southwest Taiwan between May 6 to 8. Meanwhile, Japan's Defense Minister, Nobu Kishi, told reporters on Tuesday that Chinese fighter aircraft and helicopters had conducted more than 100 takeoffs and landings on China's aircraft carrier, Liaoning in the Western Pacific, between May 3 and 8. At a May 10 hearing on Capitol Hill, Director of National Intelligence Avril Haines told the Senate Armed Services Committee that China aims to develop the capabilities to seize Taiwan over American intervention. However, Lieutenant General Scott Barrier, Director of the Defense Intelligence Agency, said China would prefer not to use force. While the shootdown has raised questions about the future stability in the Taiwan Strait, it also underscores the United States' commitment to upholding international norms and protecting its allies. The U.S. Navy's decisive action sends a strong message that any aggressive behavior will not be tolerated. As the fallout from this incident continues, it serves as a reminder of the complex geopolitical landscape in the Asia-Pacific region and the delicate balance of power that must be maintained. The United States remains steadfast in its commitment to ensuring peace and stability in the Taiwan Strait. That concludes today's video, covering the dramatic shootdown of a Chinese helicopter by the U.S. Navy over the Taiwan Strait. We hope you found this information informative and insightful. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with others who might be interested. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell to never miss an update. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.